The Genius 2 is designed for ease of use. The simple design includes four basic control buttons. The eject button releases used probe covers from the unit. The scan button activates the Genius 2 for quick temperature readings. The large easy to read LCD display shows the temperature reading as well as prompting you through all the steps of the easy temperature measurement process. The pulse timer button located to the right of the large triangular scan button displays a 60 second stop clock. To activate the pulse timer, ensure a probe cover is not loaded. Then press and hold the clock icon button. Press and release the pulse timer once to start the countdown. Beeps will sound in 15 second intervals. If finished with the timer prior to a full 60 second countdown, press and release the timer button once more to deactivate. The mode selection button, located to the left of the large triangular scan button, toggles the Genius 2 between Fahrenheit and Celsius temperature scales. When the LCD screen is still active, Press and hold the button down for two seconds to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. The Genius 2 is fast and accurate. During temperature assessment, it will take 36 to 360 measurements and select the highest reading. This is called the Peak Select System, and the Genius 2 is the only thermometer on the market today with this patented feature to enhance accuracy. To begin operation, Install two cassettes of 16 probe covers and slide them smoothly into the base unit without touching or tearing the protective film on the tip of the probe cover. The Genius 2 will only operate when a new probe cover is installed for each use. The use of a new probe cover for each reading will guard against the possibility of cross-contamination and inaccurate temperatures. To perform a reading, first inspect the patient's ear anatomy for proper placement of the probe tip. Make sure the patient's ear is free of blood or any other fluid. The ear should have no obstruction and should be free of impacted earwax. If the patient is wearing a hearing aid, remove it and wait 10 minutes before taking a temperature. Patients coming in from extreme exterior temperatures may exhibit an inaccurate ear temperature. You should wait 10 minutes for the ear temperature to adjust. If the patient is lying on their side, always use the upper or exposed ear to obtain the most accurate reading. Neonatal patients in special warming environments, such as incubators, isolates, or radiant warmers, should have their temperature taken in the ear that is closest to the mattress to reduce the effect of the artificial heating devices on the tympanic membrane. For adult temperatures, first remove the thermometer from the base unit by grasping just below the release button. Inspect the probe lens to see that it is clean and free of cracks or debris. Push the probe tip straight down into a probe cover until you hear the click. Lift the Genius 2 out of the cassette with the plastic probe cover attached. Check to make sure the membrane on the end of the probe cover is smooth and the cover is securely attached. If there are any visual holes, tears or wrinkles, discard and attach a new probe. You will know the probe cover is attached securely if the silver probe tip is completely covered. An improperly attached probe cover will not take accurate readings. Next, insert the tapered probe tip as far as it will comfortably fit into the patient's ear, aligning the probe with the patient's ear canal. Once you have a good seal between the probe tip and the ear canal, press the large triangular scan button located in the center of the handle, and a temperature will be taken. It takes approximately two seconds for the Genius 2 to display an accurate reading. When the reading is complete, the Genius 2 will beep three times and the temperature will appear. If you do not hear a triple beep, a temperature was not taken. Check the display for any error messages and check to ensure a probe cover is attached and loaded properly. Dispose of the probe cover into a waste receptacle by pressing the eject button located at the top of the thermometer handle. Return the thermometer to the base unit for storage. If you wish to take another reading in the same ear, you should wait for at least two minutes for the ear to return to pre-measurement temperature. For the pediatric population, the tapered probe tip design enables the Genius 2 thermometer to easily fit into and align with the pediatric ear canal. Apply only gentle pressure for children and especially infants to avoid compressing the very soft tissue in the ear.
blocking infrared energy from reaching the probe tip. Once seated in or over the ear canal, press the scan button to take your reading. Discard the probe cover once you have completed the reading. The LCD screen will enter sleep mode after 10 seconds of inactivity. To recall the last temperature taken, press and release the scan button. Please note that loading a new probe cover will erase the last temperature taken from memory. To review, visually inspect each patient's ear before taking a temperature. Make sure the ear canal is dry and free of impacted earwax. Never use the probe in the presence of blood, water, or any other liquid in the ear canal. Visually inspect the probe lens to ensure that it is clean and free of cracks. Ensure the probe cover is fully seated, with no silver showing between the probe cover and the blue end cap on the thermometer. Make sure you get a comfortable seal around the probe tip and ear canal, positioning the tip with the angle of the ear canal to get the most accurate reading. Also, make sure the Genius 2 is used within the acceptable room temperature limits of 60 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Minor changes in room temperature will not significantly affect the reading. However, use of this device outside of the operation limits may affect the accuracy of the reading. The Genius 2 should also be stored away from extreme temperatures. Please see the operation manual for storage guidelines. Troubleshooting. If the low battery prompt or dead battery prompt appear on the Genius 2 LCD display, you should install three new AAA batteries, following the simple instructions in the Genius 2 operation manual. It is important to keep your Genius 2 clean. Accurate temperatures depend upon a clean, unobstructed lens. Always inspect the lens before use and confirm a clean, shiny surface free of any fingerprints or debris. Regular lens cleaning is recommended for optimal performance. To clean the probe lens, Gently wipe with a lens wipe, lint-free gauze, or cotton-tipped applicator. Should you need to clean the Genius 2 housing, or if the lens will not come clean with the dry lens wipe, please refer to the operations manual for further information on the care and cleaning of the Genius 2 and appropriate solutions that can be used. If the Genius 2 is providing consistently low or incorrect temperatures, please take the following actions. 1. Inspect the lens. Is the lens perfectly clean? Clean the probe lens if needed with a dry lens wipe, dry lint-free gauze, or dry cotton-tipped applicator. Two, is the probe cover on properly? Three, did you inspect the patient's ear for obstructions? Try the other ear if needed. Four, are you aligning the Genius 2 correctly with the ear canal and getting a good seal? Correcting these problems should assure the delivery of accurate readings. Remember, normal body temperature is a range and will vary by measurement site and patient age. Readings from different sites, even when taken at the same time, should not be directly compared. If you have additional questions regarding the Genius 2, consult the operations manual or contact your local sales representative at this toll-free number. 1-800- 962-9888.